here we have another example. I cannot see the roots in my pot. I do not have clear pots, but I'm going to talk through with what I observe with this example, which is Cattleya dawiana, and my decision-making process based on the date of the tag, the space in the pot she has left, and a little bit of her history with regards to what I did the last time I repotted her. So normally in this setup of LECA and self-watering, I go with a two-year cycle, maximum three-year cycle, depending on how vigorous the orchid is on the root growth front. And I go in and I clean up the pot. Clearly, this orchid still has plenty of space in the pot to grow. I wouldn't need to touch her. Now let's check how much flex is in the pot, because that is an indicator as well as to, is there enough air, space, circulation in the pot? And you can see the leka is moving. Everything seems to be quite all right. Plenty of space for another year of this orchid to grow in the pot. I wouldn't need to repot her just based on what I feel here in the pot. And of course, she's got plenty of space. Another check mark though, is just to fill up the pot and just to see how many bubbles, how much gargling is going on. Oh yeah, we've got plenty, plenty going on. We also have the water level receding, which is great. So we can top her up again. And this is calcium, magnesium, and some seaweed as a soak for this orchid. Because I am still going to repot and clean up this orchid now because of her history. Not because she needs it, the pot, the climate is fine for another year. I go by the date on my tag. So I got her in 2019. And around about this date, of course, I would have potted her up into my self-watering and Lekka setup. So in 2020, she was doing so well in the 15 centimeter pot that all I did in 2020 was take her out of the smaller pot and pot her up into the next size here, which is this 18 centimeters. Now that was two years ago. Once again, I clean up my orchids after two years, maximum three years. So why am I not leaving this orchid in its pot for another year? Well, because with inorganic growing, we don't have to change the media. If we need to intervene, we can up pot. But an up pot does not necessarily mean that it is going to be a root cleanup, a deep clean, so to speak. All we're doing is taking the orchid out of one size pot, putting her in a bigger size pot and filling around with LECA and we are done with it. That was two years ago. So back to my repotting and cleaning orchid roots every two years, every three years. This one is due for a root cleanup, even though I could quite comfortably leave her another year. But I am going to clean up this root ball. It would be the first time for a cleanup on this orchid. Besides, I also have several eyes. And if they all start moving and all develop into new growths, that would mean double more roots in the pot. And that will fill up the blanks very, very quickly because Dawianas are vigorous root growers and I love them for it. So we are going to be repotting this orchid, not on this video, because I understand that not everybody is into repotting videos. They pretty much are all the same, but it is information like this that I have tucked away in these repotting videos and not everybody wants to watch those. So I hope that these kinds of videos are helpful. If you don't have a clear pot that you can see what your root system is doing, just to give you the pointers that I look for, plus the history of the orchid in my care and how her repotting and root ball cleanup has been in the past. So be on the lookout for the repot video. Once it has aired, I will link that video in the description of this video. In the meantime, Hope that this was helpful. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave those in the comments. I'll be happy to address anything that you might need to ask me. Know that every orchid is different, every pot is different, and I shall be doing these kinds of videos pot by pot so that you can see the thought process behind when I repot, why I repot, and why maybe I won't repot. Thank you so very much for watching. Appreciate your time. Have yourselves a beautiful day on one condition though, please that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.